Hey, what's up guys? Greg with Ohm Gadgets here, back with another video. And today I wanna to show you how you can breathe some new life into an old laptop that you may have sitting around. It turns out that in Windows 10, there is a native function called wireless display. This lets you take any computer on the same network and use it as a secondary display. And it's actually pretty lag free and very useful. I've been doing it with my Surface Pro 4 ever since I built my new system. I've been using that Surface Pro 4 as a secondary display because I really don't need it for anything else while I'm at home. So I'm going to show you how to set that up and just give you a glimpse into how useful that can be. Let's take a look. So on the display that you want to project to, you're going to click the Action Center and push Connect. After that, you're going to click on Projecting to this PC, and you're going to change this Always Off on the first option to Available Everywhere. Next, you're going to tell it to only ask for permission the first time that you're doing it. And if you want to use a pin, you can do that, but we're going to keep it off here. And we want our PC to be discoverable. Now on the main computer that you want to use as your primary display, you have to go to your display settings and push connect a wireless display and find your other PC name in the list. Once you do that, you will see that it appears as a second monitor in the display settings. In my case, my surface is number two. And then also a neat trick that you can do is take your sound and move it over to that device as well. So in this case, I can use the Surface as my computer speakers or my microphone input, which is kind of neat. Now it's really neat to see how this works on the display you're projecting to. You actually have two mouse cursors. That first one was the actual one on the Surface and the second one is me controlling it as a second display. So as you can see, I can actually window the display that's being projected to the surface from my main computer. So if I ever want to really multitask there, I can do that. So that's how that works. And here, just to show you a demonstration of how these two monitors are working virtually lag-free, I'm playing a YouTube video, one of mine of course, and I'm moving it to the other display. And as you can see, the sound is saying in sync. And this is being played on a Bluetooth speaker. So using a second wireless display like this is a very great solution. All right, so that's it. It's very easy, right? Uh, the directions are pretty straightforward, but if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.